welcome to the Spartan Show here on BSAFC TV with me, Johnny Hall. And me, Mark Carruthers. Coming up on today's show, we look back at Saturday's 6-2 win over Stafford Rangers. We catch up with Tom Wade to find out about Spartan's unlikely playoff push in the second half of the season. And we look ahead to Saturday's big clash with Ashton United. We'll start with Saturday's game at Croft Park against Stafford Rangers. So Mark, uh, Maguire's first hat-trick for Blythe, Ian Watson scored his first ever goal for the club, and uh, Blythe hit six, pretty much the perfect Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all, was it? I mean, being being 4 nil up after 21 minutes, 22 minutes was was a pretty spectacular start. Uh, we have been renowned for, for slow starts this season, and that was very much uh, out of sync with that. Uh, it was great for Maguire to get a hat-trick, three different goals, three great finishes, and and three finishes that I don't think he would have got a year ago. Uh, all very clinical and, and clean hits, and uh, a great moment from when that, that third one went in. Uh, as you say, Ian Watson's first goal for the club, uh, it's been coming, and he did he did promise us that he would get it. Uh, couldn't have been from much closer if he tried, but it was, a, it was a nice moment for Ian, and it leaves Louis Horner as the only Spartans outfield player who hasn't scored this season. Saturday sees Spartans travel to Greater Manchester to take on Ashton United, looking to improve on recent away form. Mark caught up with manager Tom Wade in training to find out how he plans on tackling that record on the road. Uh, the next three or four games will actually tell where exactly where we are. Um, you know, we've got um, a hard away game on Saturday, and then we've got a very tough home game the following Saturday. So I think the next two games will dictate where we're going to be. I think uh, we are obviously trying to get the playoffs, um, but this um, team's got games in hand, and we're and um, it's going to be a big ask, but you know, we're trying my hardest to get there, you know. And if we go back six or seven months, we were talking about staying in the division, so a real sign of how far this young side's come. Yeah, to be honest, it was, it was a tough one to start of the season. You know, we, we um, you know, all knew what the budget would be, and we, you know, we, we actually had a forecast of where we're going to be, and then the league does a forecast as well, where they, you're going to be from last season's fixtures and results, and we were, I think we were, down to go fourth bottom or something by the league. Um, you know, the board members put the board, we just wanted to be safe and, and consolidate this season. So we've actually overachieved, you know, um, on what was re requested. But we knew we were going to be okay because the pre season was excellent. And you could tell by the way the sessions were going the pre season and the games that, that we would be okay, you know. But we didn't expect to be as, as do as well as we have, you know. I know you don't like singling out players, but I'm just asking you about a couple. Uh, a man in form at the moment, Dan Maguire, has just lit, <laughs> lit this place up recently. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done well, you know. Um, you know, we've got to keep our feet on the ground a bit on him because, um, you know, we have played the bottom three or four sides over the last um, four or five games, so it's it's been tough. Nipper's next challenge is a score against the big sides, you know. Um, and that's if he does that, when he's, then he's then he's definitely crappy, you know. Um, three players who are, are lumping the same question. We've got uh, Joe Kendrick, Neil Hooks, and uh, Dan Parker, who have all come back into the team and, and, and really impressed. Yeah, that's well, the, the attitude. What's what's been the impressive thing? Um, you know, Joe was out for a fair length of time, and so was Neil, you know, and so was Danny actually. Um, and they've they've done it the right way you know they haven't caused any troubles they've asked why they're not in and we've spoken them on a regular basis on why they're not in um, and it hasn't it's just because we've played so well that the, the team has been doing well and I did say that if you if you play well you keep your shirt you know that's everybody uh, and Joe was you know Watson's come in done exceptionally well got an injury Joe's come back in and Watson kind of get back in for him uh, Hooksy's done well he's come in um, when Horner was slightly injured and he's 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 gelling the two youngsters really well. Now, Hubs has missed the game and he's got face for his place now. So it's, it's all about competition of places, you know, and it, if we keep that up, we'll be OK, you know. So, as you say, there's plenty of competition for places and, and hopefully have added one more face to the squad. Yeah, we, we are looking to, to add people to the squad. Um, you know, I spoke to the lads a couple of weeks ago and said that we wouldn't add anybody to the squad unless it wasn't required, you know. But we've been speaking to this lad for a while, to be honest, like for the last maybe four or five weeks. Uh, he's been training with us, so if we do get a hold of him, it'd be great, you know, good asset. But uh, other than that, we are pretty well happy with what we've got, you know. Just looking ahead to, to Saturday, one last question with, with Ashton. A, a tough opposition, a team that will beat here with a bit of a smash and grab, as we've said. Um, but it should be a real test. A good side, it's probably the first side we'll match up with three in the middle. Um, they came, um, the normally 4 4 2 side. And they played three central, which is a big compliment for us because I think it was the third or fourth game in. Um, so the bang three, and we had three youngsters. I think it was Demo, Weary, and uh, Mike Hooks actually. 
uh, against three very experienced um, midfield players for them and we, we did battle really hard and it was a great game of football. But they looked a good side, looked a solid side, um, looked a strong, strong side, physically strong. So that'll be a test for us. Heavy pitch on Saturday um, against a very, very physical side um, who can play football as well. So it's a big, big ask for but we're up, up for the game and we're ready to go, you know. Standing in Tom Wade's way at the weekend is Ashton United, who mark uh, Blythe beat you out earlier on in the season by two goals to one. Pretty much a bit of a, a, a smash and grab in that one. But uh, they're going into this game on equal points. Uh, impressive home form for Ashton. Blythe, a bit rocky on the road at the moment. Uh, but both sides stand on the edge of the playoffs going into the second half of the season. Uh, makes Saturday's game really, really important. Yeah, it is. It's, um, obviously, the, the game, as you said, here was smash and grab. Uh, Danny Parker's first goal for the club and, and Matty Wade getting another one, uh, which may have been an own goal, but it was a good win. Uh, Ashton are a very good side. Uh, some some would say probably one of the favourites for the playoffs, and I'd probably agree with that. Uh, they've got a, a decent record on the road, which we upset, and uh, it's going to be a big game, a real test of the the two playoff contenders. And, uh, one danger for the Spartans' defence is going to be Martin Pilkinson up there for Ashton, who scored a lot of goals this season. He has, yeah, and he's, he's replaced Aaron Burns, who, who caused Spartans a lot of problems last season. And he's uh, he's gone to Nantwich and kept on scoring there. Shows how good a player he is. But Pilkinson seems to have come in and, and really just picked up his mantle. And he'll be a danger man that the likes of Arjun Purewell and Danny Parker will have to to keep an eye out for on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a really tough one, uh, but can they get three points and end that voodoo? I think they can, yeah. It's, it's, we're in good form. Uh, obviously, it's been mainly at, at Croft Park, so it's a test on the road. Got Dan Maguire in good form, but all the attacking players are in good form. Uh, Robbie Dale's been excellent recently, and then they come from midfield, the likes of Neil Hooks. It, it, it's just getting better for Spartans, and you know everyone's getting behind them, and hopefully we can get that win on the road that we need. You can keep up to date with how Spartans get on down at Ashton via the official Twitter account, at Blythe underscore Spartans. Tune in next week where we'll look ahead to the big game against second place Chorley here at Croft Park. But until then, we'll see you soon.